is make sure you save your parts. So you want to do, do a file, save, and since you haven't saved it yet, it's going to ask you for a part name, and I'm going to call this example two. And then you can just say save. Now you've saved the SolidWorks part file. That's what you need to save so that you can reload that and, and work on it in the future if you need to modify it. I highly recommend that you save your parts often because sometimes SolidWorks can crash and if you don't save, you will lose a lot of work. One of the things that you'll do with SolidWorks is you'll actually create geometry that you'll then want to export to uh, use with our digital fabrication equipment. And one of the things you'll need to do is be able to save two-dimensional geometry out as a DXF file. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to do that. Let's say we want to export this geometry out as a DXF file. What we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Save As. It will bring up our typical Save As menu, but Save As Type instead of SolidWorks Part File, we're going to click on DXF. DXF file here. Now, the one thing you want to do here is click on the options. For the most part, this will all be default, but up here at the top it says version. Click down on that arrow. We'll want to export as a version 2000, 2002. So click on that. De fonts, default, line styles, that'll be default. Everything else is pretty much default here for our uh, DXF. So we can say OK. Then we can say Save. Now when you click on Save, the part has not been saved out as a DXF. You want to get the part into the view orientation so it's what you see on the screen is what you get for your DXF. On the left hand side it's going to say DXF DWG output. In this case we're going to say Annotation Views. In this case, I want to use the current view. I want to export what I see on the screen. At that point, I can say OK. It still hasn't saved it out. What it's doing is it's going to create the DXF. It's going to give us a, a preview screen will come up showing what the DXF will be written out as. I can look at it say, yep, that looks like the DXF file that I want. I can then say save. This will then save the DXF file out. You'll also need to be able to save files out as STL files. This is a three-dimensional file format that is used primarily with our 3D printing. Now we've created this example. Let's say we want to 3D print this part. We need to save it out as an STL file. So the way that we do that is we go up to File. We go to Save As. Now again, for our file Save As type, we're going to click on that and click on STL. STL. Now again, we want to click on the options. For the most part, we want to keep it all as default, but there's a couple things that we can we can change. Output as binary is fine. Typically here the units is what we want to make sure we match up. Now I designed that part in inches, so I'm going to put this in as inches. So I can change that. Resolution, you can change it from coarse to fine to custom. Typically, it's either fine or custom. They're both the same settings by default here. For a part, that's all we need to do. We can say OK. Now we can say Save. Now what it's going to do is it shows the STL file. We can make sure that it looks OK. Looks OK. And we'll say Save Yes. Now it's written out our STL file that we can use. Now that you know the fundamentals, there are